This is Tony K, and today's tip is how to make an end loop in your ski rope. So here's the finished product, which you'll find at either end of your main line or at the end of your handle. So I've got my fid and the rope, and you'll notice here that it's a hollow rope. It's poly P or poly E. You cannot do this with the Kevlar rope. So I've threaded the rope inside the fid as deep as it will go. I take a good amount of space there. And now I'm going to stick the tip of the fid inside that hollow rope and keep it down the middle. I'm going to use the inside of my hand to keep pushing it and my fingers in the middle to bunch it up so I can get it far up in there. Now I push from the back, pull so that the tail comes all the way through. And it's better to take a little bit too much than not enough because you can always pull a little bit more when you're done. So I'm smoothing things out. I want that loop to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to just take a little bit more and pull it through. Now you want a pretty decent sized loop. A rule of thumb I like to use is about the same length of the loop will be the same length of the amount of tail that goes inside the rope. Now it's important to note that there's two sides. The left side is the male side. That's the part that goes in to the female side. That's the one on the right in this video for obvious reasons. So you want the male part on the left, the female part on the right, and then you want to fold the top down and turn it into a pretzel. You're going to take that loop on the right and flip it through the back of the one on the left. Now as a reality check, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the female side now is taking that direct tension. See, that's not going to pull through. The male side that goes in is making this loop all the way around, so when you bring tension on it, in order for that to pull out, it would have to pull all the way through that knot. So that's it. You've got your loop.